Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to play Luigi's Mansion Arcade on your Steam Deck Steam OS and we're going to be using an emulator called Techno Parrot. I already have this emulator installed on my Steam Deck but don't worry I'll show you how to install it later on in the video. Right now let's just check out how it plays, you know see some gameplay. So this emulator supports quite a few games actually. It's kind of new to me. I, I, this is my first time playing this emulator. But I'm really interested in the like initial D series and also the Gundam versus. But this requires subscription, so maybe I need to pay for this. But uh, I'll check it out later. And also, there's uh, Mario Kart Arcade GPDX that I've never played in the arcade before, so I'm kind of interested in these. Um, let me know in the comment section if there's any game you want me to test out. Maybe we can make a series out of this, like you know, the Techno Parrot emulator on Steam Deck. Uh, I know, I think most of these games work on the PC, but uh, on the Steam Deck, it might be a little bit different. So anyway, let's check out Luigi's Mansion Arcade. This game has been requested quite a few times on my uh, channel, so that's why it kind of stuck to me. So that's the first game I tested out when I installed this emulator. Okay, it's like a um, point gun shooter thing um so that's why i mapped the pointer to my left analog stick but i also mapped it to my gyro so i'll show you how i did that and also one important thing is this game is 1080p i'm not sure if you can like change the resolution so if you're playing this on the steam deck handheld mode you can't see the full screen uh i'm right now connected to a capture card and a, like 1080p resolution that's why it's perfect Hello? but yeah so that's something uh, I'm not sure if we can fix that. Something you should know. So I mapped my gyro by pressing the steam button and then going to controller settings and here gyro behavior set as joystick and then in the settings you can see output I put it to left joystick so send to joystick left joystick and here I've got a toggle button so I can toggle it like on and off by pressing the right touchpad. Okay, you can see if I... Okay, oops, the time's running out. Okay. So let's just go into game first. I'm not sure if that's the best way to like set up my gyro, but uh, yeah, it's, it works for me right now, so... Oh, it's not working. The gyro is not working. Uh, controller oh. settings. Hello. Oh yeah, now it's working. So yeah, I think gyro is easier to play this game because like you really need some speed, but like, response. You need to be responsive, and if you're using the left. Uh, analog stick might not be fast enough sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yep, so yeah, all is working fine right now. So now let's go back to my um, desktop mode and I'll show you how to install this. So I'll see you back in desktop mode. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you need is your game. So I've got my game right here, Luigi's Mansion Arcade. It looks something like this. Okay, go find it. Don't ask me for it. I'm not going to share any links or anything like that. So once you've got that ready, go to the Techno Parrot GitHub page. Click on Downloads. I'll link this um, in the description. And then click on the Web Installer. And then click on this T. P Bootstrapper web installer for Techno Parrot. Okay, so you'll get this zip file. Go into your downloads folder, right click on the zip, extract it, auto detect subfolder, and you'll get this folder. Inside there's an exe, right click it, add to Steam. Okay, open up your Steam. Library on your left hand side, you've got this tpbootstrapper.exe. Click on the gear icon, properties, 
compatibility, I'm going to set it to Proton Experimental. And then click play, run the installer. Okay, and here we need to select the folder where you like to download it. So I just created a folder in here, home games. So I'm just going to right click, create new. Techno Carrot. Okay, so this is the folder I'm going to install it to. So here, click browse. And then the slash button, home, deck, games, Techno Parrot, open. And then click full install. Okay, just wait for it to install. In the meantime, you'd also need Proton Tricks to install the dependencies. So go here. Discover Software Center. In the search bar, type Proton. And make sure you install this, the red icon, uh, the red wine glass icon, Proton Tricks. I already have it. So I'm not going to install it again. Okay, so Techno Parrot has downloaded successfully. And then it's going to run it for the first time automatically. Okay, I don't have any game set up. Do you want to set one? Yes. Okay, so this is the first time running it. Let me... Why is that? Okay, so let's search for our game. I want to install Luigi's Mansion Arcade. Click on it. Add game. Okay, go to game settings. And then executable. Click here. Search for your game. Mine's in Home, Deck, Games, Techno Parrot Games, Luigi's Mansion. And then inside, we need to select the EXE. It's here in the EXE folder, then X64, and then vacuum.exe. Open, windowed. Okay, the input, we're going to select direct. No, we're going to select X input. X input, save settings, and then controller setup. Okay, so coin one, I'm going to press the select button on my Steam Deck. And then start button, I'm going to select the start button on my Steam Deck. Vacuum X, I'm going to move my left analog stick to the left. Okay, that's X. Okay, and then vacuum Y, I'm going to move it down. So Y, okay, and then the vacuum button, I'm going to select button A. Vacuum lever button B. And I think that's all the things we need. Screen out. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, let's select X. Okay, save settings. Okay, and then I think that's that's it. We can launch the game. Okay, you can also update if you need to. No, we don't need to do any up to check for updates. Okay, so oh I can't update right now because I exceeded the limit. I think the GitHub page I've been downloading too much, so that's why I can't update right now. So for you, if you want to update the emulator or anything like that, just go here, click check for updates. Okay, and yeah, we can launch the game, but um we don't have um some of the dependencies. So if you want to Install the dependencies. Launch the Proton Tricks I told you about. Okay, so I got a um, external hard disk installed, so that's why it had that little message. Okay, so select the non-Steam shortcut TP Bootstrapper. Okay, and there's two dependencies we need. Uh, I'll show you how to do it, but I'm not going to do it right now because it takes like 20 minutes. It takes like 20 minutes to install the .NET Framework 4.6.2. Okay, a small window. Should be something like this. Okay, so select the default Wine Prefix. Okay, 
and then install a Windows DLL or component. Okay, and then make sure you go and scroll down and select this .NET 4.6.2 and also VC Run. VC Run 2010. These two are the ones that you need and click OK. I'm not going to do it right now because it takes too long, but these are the two that you need. And uh, once you click on it, uh, it's going to do its thing. It feels like nothing's happening, but there will be some pop-up windows. You need to click OK, OK, and then install it. it. Takes around 20 minutes. Once everything's installed, you'll go back to this page, this window here. Okay, so if you don't get this window, just let it do its thing. All right, it takes around 20 minutes. So I'm just going to quit out of this. And I'm going to go back to um, gaming mode to run it there. So let me see. Oops. Library. Stop. Let me just stop it first. Okay. And okay. I need to set my, because this is um, pointed to the installer. I need to point it back to the actual, actual uh, emulator. So I installed it right here. So I'm going to copy this location first. Copy this location. Go to your game in your Steam library right click it properties okay i'm just going to change the name to techno techno parrot make it look better okay and then here starting i'm going to paste that location that i just copied home deck games techno parrot and then here browse i'm going to also paste the location and then click on the tick mark and then select the exe techno parrot ui exe I'm going to run the emulator from here. So make sure after you did this, you need to add the quotation mark at the start of the path and at the end of the path. All right, and then I'm going to keep it at Proton Experimental. Okay, everything's done. Now we can go back to gaming mode. So I'll see you back in gaming mode. Okay, so welcome back to gaming mode. Let's just run it. I'll do the artwork later. Let's just play, see how it performs. If everything is good. Okay, so we launched the emulator. Now I'm going to click launch game. Okay, it's looking good so far. Okay, you can see how, like, because it's 1080p, like I told you, and, like, you can't see the full screen right now. That's the issue here. That's a big issue. So what you do is, okay, let's quit this first. Quit this. I wanted to show you that. So what I do is go to Techno Parrot here and then click on Properties. So you click on the Start button and properties and then go down game resolution don't leave it at default select 1920 by 1080 okay game resolution now we're going to force it to 1080p so that window like that what we just saw that is what it looks like if you're playing it on your steam deck screen uh, you can't really fix that because your screen doesn't support 1080p. So you'd really need to connect it to a 1080p monitor to play this game. See how that fixed? I fixed it. Okay. okay see this part also we don't have the screen here it's because we don't have the dependency i think this is uh, missing the visual c dependency that's why the screen was like that okay so that's why you really need to install all the dependencies i just didn't show you on camera because it just takes too long 
and this video is dragging on long enough okay so yeah my controller is working and yeah let's exit it and if you want to change the artwork click start change artwork let's make it look good Oh, actually, this logo looks better. Get this logo. Icon. Okay, I don't want to restart yet. So logo, I think we need to make it um, larger. So adjust position. Adjust size. Yep, that's great. It looks much better like this. All right, so I hope this video helped you out. Let me know in the comments what other games you want to see on the Techno Parrot emulator. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.